Blaring Out show. All right, this is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair show. We're backstage at the Henry Fonda Theater. With the, we just finished the, the premiere for Punk's Not Dead, and we're here with Prima, Prima Donna. Donna. Yes. But Let's make no mistake. mistake. We are all prima donnas, including Eric Blair. Yeah, yeah. You know it. You know it. I'm prima donna too. You know that. Yeah. You know that. I'm sure you've been hearing that forever. David S. Field. I play drums. Kevin Preston, singer and guitar slinger. Aaron Minton, sexy sax killer keys. Eric Arcane. Daniel Nyby. That's guitar and bass. Okay, now how would you describe your sound to somebody who's never heard it? Beautiful. Uh, beautiful, punk, fantastic, sexy, sexy with the splashing fucking glitter. Pornography. You guys were born out of the music yeah. scene in LA. How is it? How is it right now? What do you think where do you think it's going? I'll tell you what. For the past I mean fifty years, whenever it started, it's always been clicky. Right now it's finally getting to that point where you don't have to be part of a click, you don't have to be part of a scene, you can come to see a show. Yeah, we can play with a punk band, we can play with a gutter punk band, we can play with the dance bands, a rock band. Everyone accepts everybody yeah. now. But not even like we have. We've played with all these bands, you can come and see us with any type of band and that's what's great about the scene yeah, right it's now. It's a lot better than it used to be. When we first started playing, you know, punks would look at us, you know, with our long hair and our flashy clothes and be like, you know, but um, now everyone, it's cool. Everyone yeah. likes it now. Yeah. It's fun. Exactly. What kind of venues are you playing around LA? We play Knitting Factory just about every month. Viper Room, Key Club, Roxy, Whiskey. We played everywhere. And we will play everywhere. That's just how it is now. And this that's our, what's great. Hollywood is our favorite place to play, though. We've been, around, we've been around the world, and this is our favorite place to play. There's no segregation. We've been to oh. Europe. We stay in LA, and that's the, that's the thing that happens. When you become an L.A. band or when you're from any other area and you come to L.A., what's great about L.A. is there's about, I mean, I don't, I don't even know how many clubs, but you can play any of them. And we played all of them. And you can continue to do that. And that's why bands get stuck in L.A. for 10 years, because there are so many clubs to play. And we played all of them and we continue to. How did the band form? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm <laughs> We all had really hot girlfriends, right? I believe that. <laughs> okay, yeah. and, well, we still do. But these were different girls back then. Anyways, in, in guys' bathrooms, typically in LA, in guys' bathrooms, there are no mirrors. Because a lot of guys tag them up and do all their shit to them. Make razor blades out of them. Make razor blades. In girls' bathrooms, you've got the mirrors, you've got the everything, amenities, everything, right? So we all had hot girlfriends. It was okay if we went with them to go to the bathroom and do whatever we have to do. So we got back there and at that, no joke, no joke, at that moment, all the girlfriends started fighting with each other. We didn't know each other at this time. We didn't know each other. But we turn around when we get out of the bathroom, we're like, you know what, what do you do? It just so happens that me, this guy, and this guy all play different instruments. We jammed one day and it actually worked. So, anyways, if you're a budding band and you come to LA, it will not work. We rule. We worked. We worked and it happened. And, and that's it. That's it. And it was a hot cat fight, by the way. Smoking hot. And this is Alex Gomez from the Billy Bones. Hello, he hello, rules. hello. He rules. Hello, Governor. Is there any label interest right now? We can't, we're not at liberty to talk about it, but we have had okay. experiences of labels right. that. We Listen, can't talk what, about it. Right now, we can't talk about it. But there are a bunch talking to us right now. If if it was narrowed down to a couple, we'd talk about it. But right now, it's a we. It's a bidding war. We can't. This vinyl we have right now, there's only 500. There's like 10 left on Puke and Vomit. We just put it out. But other than that, we really can't talk. But Puke and Vomit, Nat from the Neon Maniacs, he's a trooper. And this this is a true form of punk rock. Still DIY going. To the bone. He's been doing it forever. He's got radiation records in Anaheim. Nice. Besides that, no, seriously though, yeah. we've gone from this to major label bidding wars. And that's what's so great about this. We wanted to do something that will help him out. But beyond that, right now, the sky's the limit. And we're not allowed to talk about it. We can't talk about it because of legal. But listen, we went from this, a limited like agreement like a tiny contract to 
we can't talk about it. And we're not so, allowed to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. So you see what can happen if you start a band with integrity and you want to do what you want to do. What is the groupie scene like right now? We are not allowed to talk, talk about, about it. it. <laughs> this is the problem with Prima Donna. Okay, a year ago, well, right when we hit our peak, or even before that, we found like our respectable girls. Okay, us three are not available. We can't speak for the rest of the band, but it's there's, listen. There's two more listen, guys. They're just not here right okay, now. Okay, there are two more guys, but it's not the same scene that it was yeah. 30 years ago. 30 years ago, you could f without any STDs, yeah. anything serious. Now it's not the same. Now it's not the but same. We're not you got over 30 years old. We weren't. We weren't around then. We're not. We're all in our early 20s. Boys. It's not the free love era no. anymore. <laughs> listen. There's no free love anymore. You gotta wrap it double if you're smart. Double. No, wrap it double. Anyways, 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 you gotta watch it, man. And right now, you can't do the same things you did 30 years ago. You can't do the same thing. Sean. And music Sean, also. Music Sean. also. Come here. Come We're talking about groupies. They're really cool. Love them. Oh my god. No. Sean, you can't do the same things with groupies now. Like back in the day or whatever? Like back in the day. There's too many diseases, man. You gotta watch out for yourself. That is true. Yeah, I mean, you have to have a condom machine on the in the van. Yeah. Sean, what do you think of Prima Donna? I think they're cool. I actually seen their site on MySpace, and uh, I like the band. I'm actually gonna start a new band with these guys, or I'm gonna be the new guy in Prima Donna. It's my it's my mission. Sean's a good guy, man. Yeah, we're gonna rock. Good Let's guy. do all, pouty lips on four. <laughs> Blaring out with Eric Blair show hey, with Prima Eric, Donna. Eric Blair, Eric Blair is the man. Blair out. Blair yeah. Out. Prima Donna. Prima Blair Donna. Out. Signing off. Bye bye. Oh, man, Eric Blair.